I'll see if the people can see over my shoulder. Even though I said I wasn't going to do this. Uh, let's see. So, let's try Jebba, Oracle, Jebba, it's actually Oracle, Oracle makes Jebba. So, we're going to turn this scribble into a illustration. I see something really cool in these shapes. And some of you are probably like, I don't see it. Alrighty. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Okay, so what uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this scribble that you guys had seen me scribble when the camera was over my shoulder. Okay, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use that as a face cam, and I've got screen capture software. So we'll go back into. Um, the scribble here. Too many technical difficulties. It's got me all screwed up, man. Anyway, all right. So let's uh, let's drop down the opacity here a little bit on this layer, and let's create a new layer. And guys, I like to use my four main colors, and you guys can use whatever colors you want. I like to use blue and red. Uh, quite a bit in Sketchbook Pro 7. Uh, greens and purples uh, as well. Uh, the blue and red, I use blue for the rough sketch and red for the refined uh, the refined illustration. Uh, I refine my lines before I go into ink and color. Uh, it just helps me know where I'm going to be placing the ink. Um, you guys can do whatever you want to do. but. I'm just saying this is what works for me. Anyway, so let's get started here. So this scribble, this is what I see. And you guys may see something different. I'd like to, I'd like to, what I'll do before I start drawing on this, I'm going to save this. File, save as, uh, let's go here and... Let's go and create a new folder. Sorry, I should have done all this prior. Okay. Now let's call this YouTube videos. Sounds good to me. And we'll slap this thing in here and this will be scribble one. All right. Anyway, I sorry, I, I have a very extensive file structure here. Uh, some of you, I know some people just throw a bunch of files and folders and stuff, but I, I create a folder for a folder for a folder. You know, I keep my stuff organized so I could find it really quick. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. 
what I'd like to see is you guys leave comments on what you guys see this scribble as. And then if I've got time, or what we'll do is once a week, I will pick, I'll pick a comment and I will turn this scribble into the comment you've suggested. And guys, please keep it at least PG rated. <laughs> okay, rated R is fine. Nothing at all, right? This is just this family fun right here. Okay, this let's keep it. Let's keep it fun. So anyway, let's jump in. Okay, so I see with this big oval shape here, I see the body of a fish, and this is the wave or the water where the fish is jumping out. Maybe he's jumping out at a bug or something like that. So what we'll do is we'll take this and we're gonna select this whole thing and we're gonna shrink it down a little bit. Oop, wrong layer. Wrong layer. Come on, Mr. Fox, you gotta be thinking right here. Come on, think. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's shrink it down because, you know what, this is gonna be a great scene here. Uh, we'll just start with the fish today and it's gonna take a lot of work. Um, so, let me get into working on uh, this illustration here. Okay, so this is what I see. I see a fish, and he's jumping out of the water, and he's about to eat some kind of bug, I think. Um, and what I might have to do is pull up images of a fish, but I might just wing it. I might just do my same old same old uh, animated cartoon style that I always love to do which is fine you guys find your style run with it enjoy it don't let anybody tell you otherwise okay have fun alright so I'm gonna create this and you know what it doesn't have to be like what I'm creating here is a whatever it could be like a fish from another planet right it doesn't have to be a fish uh, that is here on earth I mean it could be whatever's in your imagination so enjoy it have fun with it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create this fish that you know could be from another uh, another planet could be from our planet maybe uh, Maybe we, you know, we, we just haven't discovered it yet. I don't, I don't know. We know more about the uh, universe than we do our own ocean. Eh, bet you didn't know that. Oh, I'm sure you did. Anyway, alright, so, let's see. We're going to give this guy more of a menacing, menacing eye. Nah, let's see. See, let's go like this. Give it, make it look like he's got a good eyelid going on there. And let's see. We're gonna do a fin that kind of goes. And you're probably wondering why I did that line there. I did that line there to help me figure out what shape I'm gonna go with with this fin. Right, and you're probably like, man, that's just a bunch of scribbles. I don't understand what he's doing. Well, sometimes I don't understand what I'm doing either. Right, it's all, it's all about getting the shape and getting the, the motion and the feeling of the art. Right, you, you just want to get it out there. You don't want to hinder any of your design ideas in your head. The minute you start hindering that and say, no, that doesn't look good, is the minute you start second guessing yourself, and then next thing you know. You're just constantly erasing or redoing your stuff. It's a mistake. It happens, you know, or or just run with it. You know, it's 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 there. You guys can't get used to the fact that you got undo. Undo's great. Yes, it's great. It's a great thing when you mess up. But you know what? Try to create art and use very use the undo button as little as possible. That's what I try to do. Because in real life, when you're using traditional work, you can't undo. Well, <laughs> scratch that. I mean, if you're using pencil, you can undo. But uh, or unless you're drawing, 
at a heavier pressure, then you probably won't be able to. Anyway, um, so, you know, get in the habit of not using undo, guys. You don't need it all the time. Yeah, you make mistakes. That's fine. Try to try to incorporate that mistake into your art, right? Try to say, okay, how can I fix this so that way... Um, it looks like it's part of the art. I thought I was going to give them some things there, but... Uh, yeah, it didn't look right. Yeah. Okay, so... This guy's got sharp teeth, man. I tell you, he's... Wouldn't want to run into this fish. But I don't even know how big he is. He could be the size of a whale, you know? Maybe he's got nostrils. Yeah, maybe he's like... You can breathe air somewhat. Alright, so let's get a nice whipping of the tail action here. And, uh... Wow. And, yeah. This guy is going to have spines. Little bone spines coming out of his fins. Uh, some fish actually have this. It's a protective mechanism. They flare up the, the fin on the back of their head. The, pines, the spines stick up and then... Ooh, hurts. Sorry. I know you guys are probably laughing. Ah, this guy is he's so he's just so weird. Yeah, well, you know what? Life is weird. Okay, so let's do let's do like something like this. And you you like okay. So I don't know if you guys know much about fish, but when you open a mouth, the mouth of a fish, you can actually see part of the gills on the inside of the mouth. Bet you didn't know that. Some of you may. Some of you actually go fishing. Some of you may know what... Uh, what I'm doing here. Alright, look at that. And, uh, I don't know... Nah, no serpent eye. No serpent eye. Let's do like a big. Oh, what kind of eye will this fish have? We'll give it a pupil. And then we'll give it something like a massive. It's gonna be like. It's gonna be black, but it's gonna have like. Some other colors mixed in. And I'll show you what I'm referring to here in a minute. Okay, so there's our giant beast right he's coming up to guys I already got it I know what he's he's after okay oh no nope. I don't want to cover up the gills I know I know I told you guys not to use undo but I guess what I don't use undo a lot so neener 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 I say that, and I just use it. Oh my goodness! I just used it again. Okay. Anyway, use it. Use it sparingly. Let's just put it that way. Use it sparingly. The ultimate goal that you want to get to, though, is to not not use it all. You really don't. And you want to finish your artwork, guys. Um, if you start on something, you're like, oh, I don't like it. It doesn't look right. Finish it. How do, you, how do you know if it looks right? How do you know if it's going to be the the right drawing unless you finish it? Guys, you got to finish your art. Finish your art. Love your art. You know what? And hang your art on your wall. If you love it, you got, if you want to be a great artist, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if they say it's conceited or anything like that. Love your art. Hang it on the wall and enjoy it. It's your art. You're creating it. And you know what? The person that should love your art the most is you guys. Not... Not the world, not anybody else. You guys love it first, then everybody else will follow. I may get a lot of negative comments and a lot of people trolling 
on uh, uh, you know on this station and commenting on oh you suck and you your art's not that good and blah 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 and that's fine that's th that's their right to their opinion but guess what I love my art no matter what they say it's not gonna change my opinion on how I how I draw or how I perceive myself as an artist I don't let that stuff affect me anymore I used to I used to let it affect me a lot um, I didn't have the support structure that most people have um, and there's probably some of you out there that are are in the same boat or were in the same boat that I am I was in okay you know and uh, I was always told I would be nothing but a starving artist and that's all I'm gonna be good for because I wanted to pursue my life as an artist um, the sad part is and I'm not naming any names I'm not pointing any fingers it's just just stating the truth the sad part is the person that was saying this the most had was just not educated on um, what this world of art was going to be at some point um, they didn't have a clue where this um, where this art was going and it's kinda sad because I found out much later in life that this person uh, back in the early 80s was working on 3d animation for the government uh, about the same time as Pixar was getting started um, and they were actually uh, I think they were actually using software that a university made for them. I'm not sure I don't know the exact details but anyway um, irregardless anyway so I, I didn't have a good support structure and I used to let negative all the negative feedback really it really affected me now you know now it's like oh it's constructive criticism yeah I could do this or I could do that you know everybody's gonna be a critic everybody's gonna tell you how to do your work um, just enjoy it guys just enjoy it love your work love what you do and don't let anybody tell you you can't do it there's things in this world that I've done that people have told me I can't do and I proved them wrong now, at first I proved to myself I could do it but I proved them wrong and I'm proving proving the naysayers wrong every single day with this everything that I do um, anyway I'm not gonna keep ranting on that 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 may be a different topic that may be a daily vlog we sit and talk about um, you know how to overcome your fears and that is a fear it's a big fear that you guys have to get over um, and until you guys get over that you're never gonna you're never gonna be go to the next step as an artist it's always gonna be stopping you anyway back to the drawing we will have a boat eh. and some people freaking out <sighs> Now, question, is it a lake or is it the ocean? Hmm. Let's do, let's do this. It's a lake. Maybe it's a, um, maybe it's a really big lake. Yeah, maybe. You guys are probably wondering, what is he doing in the background there? It's kind of light. Yeah, I lighten it up. Sorry, guys. Uh, I lighten it up so that way you're probably like, what is he scribbling back there? Guys, these are trees. They will be trees when it gets to ink and color. They're trees in a distance. I don't know how you... You guys, everybody does art different, so this is how I do my trees in the distance. Um, and they will get more detailed when the farther I get into doing these 
this illustration or ink and color anyway. Oh, that looks horrible. It's an ocean. No. No. Yeah. How about we make it... Yeah, we can make it an ocean. You know what? We'll put like a deserted island out here in the distance. And then we'll do one off off the side here, but this one's gonna have like a big rocky uh, mountain in the background, and then it's gonna have like a beach kind of right here. So maybe these guys were castaways, haha, <laughs> and uh, you know they figured, well, we made it off the island, we made it. They're celebrating, and right, I'm gonna do something really funny. I gotta look up palm trees. Oh, and that's another thing I want to tell you guys to do. You guys have to build up a visual library. And what I mean by that is you need to be sketching every day. If you want to make it anywhere in, in, in this field as an illustrator or any kind of an artist, you have to be drawing every day or as much as you possibly can. Okay? I know it's not convenient sometimes um, and I know it's not um, possible to be able to sketch every single day right but you have to work it in somewhere and you gotta make it a habit if you miss one day and say oh I'll get to it I'll get to it and you always say I'm gonna get to it I'm gonna get to it you're never gonna get to it so by sketching every day and grabbing something that you always pick something you're not comfortable with um, Either before or after. It's up to you. Whatever needs, whatever you need to use to warm me up. Um, I like to just jump in and um, start with something that I'm not comfortable drawing. Something I'm not used to uh, drawing on a daily basis. And uh, I try to practice that drawing or that style or that, that type of thing. Uh, or drawing it um, as much as I can until I get comfortable with it. And then I move on to the next thing I'm not comfortable with. Um, anyway, so... Uh, by by picking stuff like you know this fish how did how was I supposed to know it looked like this or the palm trees you know this and that I mean I've drawn this kind of stuff many 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 times so I know how my this my fish or this is gonna look right I know how this is gonna look I know how that's gonna look and after a certain point you build up this visual library in your head and it's all right here uh, and that's and that's really what you guys really want to focus on is is building up that visual library so that way, um, so that way you, you don't have to rely on a whole lot when it comes down to. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. You don't have to rely on using illustration. Now it's okay to use illustrations. It's okay. Uh, draw what you see, and not what you don't see. I had some great art teachers in the high school teach me that. Um, and also, what you want to do when you're drawing for ref from from reference, sorry, you want to make sure that your uh, the illustration that you're using or not, not illustration the picture that you're using is not always in front of your face. Like you want at some point. You want to make sure that that illustration is not swaying your uh, art style. And what I mean by that is it's not controlling how you're drawing. I mean, you want to use it as reference, but you don't want to copy exactly the exact image, right? You, you don't want to do that because you want to learn what your style is. You want to... Sorry. I get quiet when I'm drawing and I'm trying to focus. You want to learn how to find your style. You want to do this, you want to do that. Well, you know, it's fine to fine to do that for a while, but at some point you got to stop. If you really want to grow as an artist, you have to be able to just say, okay, this is what it looks like. I am going to only pull it up when I'm having uh, troubles trying to figure out how to make it look like this or like that, right? Let's see. That's enough of that. Let's go back into to the. Uh, uh, let's go back into the illustration here. Okay, dokie. All right. So let's have. 
All right, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to have one guy. He's kind of leaning forward like this, right? You're probably like, why is he doing that? Well, because my friends... Uh, let's see. His arm's going to be stretched out. And he's going to have the oars. The oars will be facing this way in the water. And his hands will be kind of like mittens because they're so far I mean we'll add a little detail um, but these figures are so far in the distance that it's kind of hard to uh, get the detail in there and at the resolution I'm drawing at um, it's kind of hard to see as you can see it's kind of it gets it gets kind of messy and this is why I kind of like dropping the opacity down because I can I could just go darker with the... Mm -hmm.